Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lainey. Today I'm going to be showing you how to style my 2024 trend predictions, things that I'll be wearing in 2024, things that I think will start becoming more mainstream and all that kind of stuff. So just a fun like dress up video today. Before we get into this video, I wanted to say thank you so much to Bellway for sponsoring. We'll talk about them in a little bit. That's it. So I wanna do A-line first. Two other trends that are just gonna be sprinkled through everything is the side part, which I've got going on today with very dirty hair and big sunglasses, which I will throw on probably mostly every look. So I see A-line all the time dressed up and I've styled it dressed up a few ways. I wanna style it with these little track pants because I wear these all the time and I wanna see if I can get the A-line look in a more toned down way. And you guys gotta give me a minute because these kind of videos are like, we're experimenting together, you get to come along with me. When I just give you like outfits, boom, 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 I plan those in advance. These are, we're playing. Like I said, we're playing. Give me a minute. And what do you think of this double setup? We'll see if I keep it. Should these pants be like higher up? Does that look better? Sometimes I just pull these Adidas track pants high waisted and cinch them and it can totally change the look. My white socks might be throwing me off now, but I kind of think they look better, just a little bit more like tapered almost. So let's do that. Very easy hack. Just gave myself a major wedgie. I don't think I brought a different color sock, which kind of sucks because I think a gray sock would look a lot better. Am I the only one that like can't keep my socks together? I lose my socks all the time and then I just end up with all my like nasty ones. These are cute. I'd spent a very long time this morning looking for them, but let's add the accessories. I kind of wanted to give you guys a look <laughs> at my mess I keep. I don't know, I think it's funny. Let's add. See, these might be the wrong glasses. Also, I don't know why I love the way my hair looks with a beanie on, where like, it's just such a tiny little nubs coming out of the sides. I really like it. So, for a first outfit, this one's weird. And I kinda knew that going into it. Let me try a different sunglass. I don't know, like it's not horrible. It's not the best. I've styled this jacket you guys have seen if you watch my channel just like a lot more dressed up and i think it's cute but i can see myself wearing it like this it's fun it's different let's do some more a-line so here's another little a-line shirt that i got off whatnot and i can put the seller on screen for you guys i know you guys like that it was so inexpensive i don't remember exactly how much i paid for it but it was something where like i couldn't not get it that little like trapeze coat swing coat is what they're called with the three-fourths length sleeve not quarter length, they're three fourths. I said that wrong in a video and now I am mortified and very embarrassed. It's a little bit of a dress down version. I feel like if you live in a warmer climate and you never get to wear like a wool pea coat, this just like fills that void. I love the ruffles and dressing it super toned down. I think I could also dress it with sambas and that would be super cute. I think this with a mini skirt too, let's try it. I wish I had just like a plain gray mini skirt because I have this One's like a skort and I love it so much. I got it off Depop, but the lines in it, the stripes like just will not do. And that was another trend is three fourths length sleeve. How do you say that? Quarter length is just so much easier to say. Three fourths, like I'm not a mathematician. Let me just say what I want. Is this gonna give too corporate? This might be horrible. See, I just think the black doesn't work well with it. And I feel like somebody might like this, but I really don't. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going for the sake of the vid. Something else that I brought because I just wear them all the time that people keep saying are trending. If I was to wear this as a wear, it is cheetah print and polka dot. So I brought my cheetah print and polka dot stuff, but like since when have those been out of style? They're so neutral and I feel like they have been trending. Not even like they're just classics. I feel like they've been trending since, I don't wanna say a since. This is like fun, the silhouette of it and I like it with the ruffle socks and the loafers, but I just don't love it with a black skirt. And I'm so into a skirt, like a shorts in the back, skirt in the front skirt. They're so much more practical for me. So moving on to a different trend while we still show the A-line because I think something that falls in A-line is poncho cape, whatever you wanna call it. But this is not the one that I said I regret buying. I was on Whatnot. This little dress came up. I got it for $3.47. It's so cute. It was down in the knees and I just hemmed it and then I haven't, you know, stitched it yet, but I'm going to. And then 
right after it's like worship vintage vintage worship 79 i'll put it here he showed this and i was like how am i not gonna also get this and again it was like under five bucks and i like it so much more than the other one that i got and i was totally right i just didn't like the first one i got because it was too structured so yes i did buy another one when i said i wasn't going to anytime i say something on camera and then there's physical proof that i said it i go ahead and i do the exact opposite thing because i guess i'm just a big fat liar and i love to lie this dress drop waist cutest thing i've ever seen another trend i talked about we've been seeing a little bit but i just think these dresses are gonna be all i'm gonna wear in the summer i can't breastfeed in them i'm gonna fully zip down my back and do what needs to be done but i think what looks so cute with this dress and again something i said was styling these capes with a dress instead of pants like i kept trying and it's just the way it needs to be there we've got the a-line still i think it's literally so adorable and then with the cowboy boot it's very we're like mixing 60s and 70s and i know these outfits are like a lot warmer weather but i'm already sick of like winter outfits which is so funny because today it like snowed and finally stuck these like 70 sunglasses i think so so cute with it like this is so cute with the cowboy boots i love it Let's style this dress one more way but i think that this is into what i was saying about um, dressing stupid and i figured the better word for it like when i was editing which i put up in the little like I, on screen for my video ins and outs of 2024 is committing to the bit what am i committing to right now i am dressing like a catholic schoolgirl. commit to it put on the loafers put on your frilly socks put on the jumper i love it so much i think it's so silly and then same thing like last outfit i was really committing to like the vintage 60s 70s aesthetic all the way down to the sunglasses if I put on my cowboy boots, I'm putting on my Levi's. I'm gonna put on, you know, plaid or whatever. I'm gonna put my hair in pigtails. I'm committing to the bit. This is very summery and I know I'm gonna wear it all summer. It's so cute. Okay, but how can we change it up a little bit? I just wanted to see it with um, loafers, TBH, because I haven't tried that yet. What if I just like put a t-shirt on over it? Now it's like, I have gym class today. Like, just the skirt on the bottom is so cute, but this is like a nun yelled at me and I have to cover up. And I went to Catholic school, so I know how it goes. Little sweater over top. If you guys don't know where this sweater is from, Alexa Sunshine 83 on YouTube thrifted it for me. She did this like crazy cool thrift mystery series where she thrifted style bundles for I think like six other YouTubers. It was crazy. Um, go watch that on her channel though. It was really fun and cute and she is the sweetest ever. We literally talked for like almost two hours on FaceTime before even filming the video. And then I was losing daylight and I didn't have my lights with me because I thought it was gonna take like 30 minutes tops. And I was like, we gotta film. I could talk to her all day though. She's so sweet. I like how this sweater looks with it. I think it's really cute. I could see myself wearing this again more in the springtime. Should I try like boots on it to warm it up? Oh, I didn't bring my, I thought I brought them. Guess we're not trying it, but this is cute too. Again, just like schoolgirl chic and the sunglasses. I'm skipping class. Don't let my teacher see. Wow, I wanna wear this for like Halloween next year too. I love that my clothes always double as Halloween costumes. <laughs> what does that say about me? This is so cute. Oh. Okay, next. Thank you again to Bellway for sponsoring this video. This time of the year brings some not so healthy food choices, which can lead to an unhappy gut. One of the best ways to take care of your digestive health is by maintaining your fiber intake. Fiber can help you detox from all those holiday meals without making you run to the bathroom. Fiber can relieve and prevent bloating, gas, indigestion, and other uncomfortable symptoms related to your gut. Bellway is an organic, all natural, vegan, keto, paleo friendly, and gluten free fiber supplement that contains zero sugar. Bellway has such fibers as fiber with fruit, greens, protein, collagen, and if you're always on the go or traveling, get their kosher capsules or gummies. Something else that I've picked up from Bellway and have been using regularly is their protein powder. I got the vanilla flavor. Adding extra protein to my vegetarian diet helps me be fuller for longer, especially being a busy mom. I'm not always eating the healthiest, so these supplements just make sure I'm getting what I need. You can use the link in the description box to get 25% off your first order at bellway.com or use the code Lainey25. Thank you so much to Bellway again for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the rest of it. 
Again, I do get a lot of questions on how to style cheetah print. Here's the start of it. I didn't bring my sambas because again, I'm trying to get away from them. So I think I'm gonna put on my freaking loafers again. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's like, I know some of you guys don't care when I put the same pieces on over and over because it just shows that like pieces that I do wear in my closet and I'm dressing a bit more casually. The loafers always work, but sambas would work. Any like uh, sneaker honestly would work with this. But I get questions a lot on how to style cheetah print. I still wear these pants all the time. They're originally from the brand Genealogy, but I always see cheetah print pants on Depop that look really similar. I got these off Depop or Poshmark, I can't remember. But they're really stretchy and comfy. If you're gonna get a cheetah print, it needs to be small print and it can't be like this Dalmatian weird thing that we saw in honestly 2016. It needs to be like a true cheetah print if you want it to be cute. If you, not if you want it to be cute. If you want to have not as much trouble styling it. I think you could still style this and make it look cute but like this is so much easier. It's a lot more timeless. Um, it's not, I don't want to say bad things, but I really like cheetah print with gray and then the beanie is so cute. What else was I going to say? Also, remember when in like 2016, it wasn't cheetah print that was trending. It was a leopard print. Like we are not early 2000s girls wearing cheetah print. We are not on the Jersey shore. We're wearing a leopard print. And now everyone's like cheetah print. We love the Jersey shore. <laughs> it's just funny how like it's the same ish. I don't wanna hear it, same-ish. I probably would've called these leopard print pants. I still have my first cheetah jacket. We'll style that one next from 20, oh wait, not 2016, 2018, whatever. Never underestimate the power of just like a black t-shirt and an all black outfit. Like, why is this cute? I would never wear this with like a beanie though because why would I have a beanie on? If I was wearing this without the cheetah jacket, sorry. I tracked as always. You can do it like over your ears. I was very inspired by my grandma and her old photos of doing it like this with big 70s sunglasses. But I think in the summertime, I will probably wear it like a true bandana but see like i'm committing to the bit the bandana and the cowboy boots like this is a cute outfit i love it so much i'm also into like a thinner bigger hoop these ones are from italy from my nonna but, like that's a cute outfit that i will definitely wear this summer a skort people a skort they're so much more comfortable To dress it a little bit colder and I'm trying to style cheetah print. I just get so sidetracked. I'm so into this cranberry color. This one's from Cotton, K-O-T-N. And I've been wearing it like crazy. If you're not into like the super bright red, which like I'm really not. I like more of this color. And there it is. Obviously put on your tights if you need it, all that kind of stuff, but I don't feel like it. This is so cute. I like the cheetah jacket dressed down a little bit. I used to pair this over sweatpants. I would literally put this on over my Adidas track pants. I've worn it every way you could think of. This is from Target in like 2018. Uh, no other place had cheetah jackets yet. 2017, whatever. And it's literally the most perfect jacket ever. Like we'll never get rid of it. And it's so funny because it's just like a cheap, cheap cheetah jacket. And it fits well. Actually, you know who got this for me? My mom. I was in college. My mom was at Target and she knew I was looking for a cheetah print jacket. And she FaceTimed me and she was like, do you like this? Is this what you'd want? And I was like, oh, please, will you get me that? So my mom I actually got me this cheetah print jacket, which makes it even better. I forgot that whole thing happened. Thanks, Lisa. Cheetah print and cowboy boots, big 70s sunglasses, they go together, okay? What else did I want to show? Oh, should we do a little polka dot? This is kind of a really weird way <laughs> to wear the polka dot skirt. Also, I just feel like this length is getting bigger and bigger and I'm into it, but like just a big baggy t-shirt's kind of fun. I feel like I'd need cowboy boots with it, not loafers. Or like sambas honestly could work. It's like fun, it's weird. But the beanie really makes no sense. Oh, I forgot to do my other, I have one more cheetah print item I can do for you guys. And I just love how my beanie looks. <laughs> See that now the bandana just doesn't seem like it would work correctly. Like nothing's going on right now. So I feel like I need to grab a purse actually. I'm like re-falling in love with my cowboy boots and it's making me so happy. I feel like I didn't wear them for a minute because I got those like fry boots and then I was just gravitating towards those. But I'm really into this. Like it's so simple and I'm just into showing you guys outfits that I'll actually wear out in public and not just like, we're playing dress up, let's go crazy. Like I wanna show stuff that I'm gonna wear. I'm definitely gonna wear this spring and summer. It's so stinking cute. I love the polka dots. Obviously you can dress this up I don't feel like it. I feel like I've shown it dressed up. Let's put that little cheetah skirt back on 
or on, and I can show you that too. If you're not into pants or a cheetah jacket. Funny, I only did one outfit with jeans, which I feel like is not like me. I normally do a lot more. <laughs> this little cotton t-shirt, by the way, is from Elwood. Seriously love their t-shirts. I've been wearing them like crazy all the time. Crazy bruises all over my legs also just from like getting up and down with a baby. I don't know why that destroys you. Like why is this so cute just with the t-shirt? But we're gonna change it up. Maybe this A-line jacket. It's like fine. I'm not super into it. Oh, I feel like I'm failing. This skirt and I've styled it so easy with like Quarter length mosquito top. I feel like it almost does need a bright color for some reason. I'll put it on so we get a cal palette cleanser. But I know you guys have seen it. Is it about this skirt that needs a bright color? But like my other cheetah print pieces can very easily go with a gray or a black. Even these boots like feel wrong. I'm struggling. Okay, we're gonna go very springtime, but I kind of want to this spring and summer wear my kitten heels more casually. Try and hold me to it. These are super easy to walk in. I wore them to a wedding and was so surprised. Like the heel's tiny. It's just like a sandal. For like what I do day to day, a kitten heel just feels weird. TBH, but like very early 2000s, way too style. The cheetah print, so it's like so different than what we were seeing before. I wanna style this shirt now because I have it on in like a less dressy way. It feels very dressy every time I put it on, so let's see what I can do. Oh, see, I just don't like the blue and the pink. Like that's not my color palette. Flop with this squirt is that I normally roll it once because I like them to be a bit smaller, like shorter, but you can't roll it because you will see it and this top is too tight. Like, do you see how these colors work better for some reason or am I making it up? Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this one, honestly, because I, I don't know. Another trend I talked about are leggings and not just like capris, like what I've got on right now. Like we're gonna put a pair, a skirt or something over top this because we've been seeing like this kind of look a lot already <laughs> with just like a kitten heel, like an early 2000s-esque legging. I don't have just like a mini skirt, so we're gonna do the skirt again. Feels weird, it's kind of pants over, skirt over pants vibe. I don't know if I want the socks on or off. Right here with this top, I feel like you could not do a tight top because I look like a waitress, this looks like an apron. My skirt needs to be shorter, oh. I can hike it up and I can roll it now because you can't see the top. Yay, it needs to be like extra mini. And yes, the back are just shorts, so please ignore that. But like from the front, it's pretty cute. I kind of don't like when my leggings go <laughs> at the like widest part of my calves. Just don't think it's very flattering. I don't think that's flattering either. Oh, I'm gonna have to take off the socks, I think. But like I can see people wearing them with socks, the like leggings. What do we think? Socks on or socks off? It's just like a lot going on with the socks. I can so see people on Instagram wearing this, but just not me. When I put on my capris, my favorite way is to style them with the kitten heel because it just like elongates your legs even though you're being cut off with the capri. Really my only way I like doing it unless I'm just like styling them with a sneaker. I'll wear that, but like with the sweater on top, it looks weird with the kitten heels. Oh, let's try loafers, no sock. I'm giving you every possible. Also, all my shoes are black. Like, I feel like that makes things hard. It's like fine. I just don't know if I would ever do it. When I was seeing it, it's more in a dressed up way, but I can totally see this combo. I think I'd like it more with like a lace capri, whatever, and like very dressed up. Let me put on like, let's do something weird. I'm gonna put on a t-shirt. Like the poncho could work, but I just don't like cream and black together that much. I think I did that though already, but this is a lot of black for that cream. Like, do you kind of get the idea that I'm going for? I'm executing it horribly. Oh jeez, these shoes are so cute. I think I'm giving up. I don't think I like it. And I know I will never wear it, so. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to check out Bellway. Use the link in the description box. Use my code on screen. And that's about it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.